What's up guys, welcome to Malone Post. I'm Lincoln and today we're doing one that I'm real excited about. We're gonna be talking about this Ape Man 1080p supported home projector. Guys, if you haven't done it already, please make sure you go and hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of the reviews that we have coming out. We put out multiple reviews every single week. So as all of us know, the world is shut down. We're in a worldwide pandemic and have been for over a year at this point. At least in Canada, most things are still shut down. I know in the States, they're starting to open things back up. Great for them. It's been tough because of the pandemic. We can't really go to movie theaters and enjoy movies the same way that we used to. So how do we combat that? Well, we go on Amazon and we buy a projector. Now, I bought this one. It is 720p native resolution. It supports 1080p coming into it. There are projectors on Amazon that support 4K coming into them. That's all well and fine. Their native resolution is still, most of them, their native resolution is still 720p on the lower end projectors, but that isn't gonna make a huge difference when you're building kind of a pandemic friendly home cinema for you know the next few months or whatever. I've used this projector to watch sports when hockey came back for the Stanley Cup playoffs. I've used it to watch movies. It actually doesn't look too bad. And I've used it to play my Nintendo Switch, which looks awesome. The Nintendo Switch is the best looking console that I've played on this. I've also played my Xbox, it looks fine. The best thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna set this up in a completely dark room. That is where you're going to get your brightest possible output from this unit. Let's talk a little bit about the features that this projector has. It has two HDMI inputs. It has a USB input. It has a micro SD card slot. So you can watch content right off a micro SD card. It has a headphone jack and an AV uh, in 3.5 millimeter. It also has VGA in. So you could potentially hook up older computer components if you wanted to. You can mount it upside down. You can mount it right side up. You can mount it on a table and there's like a, well, there should be a little leg in here that you screw and it kind of tilts the unit. I took it out because I actually mounted this on a C-stand in my house. To test it out, it has one focus wheel and it has one keystone wheel. So your focus wheel is going to obviously focus it based on the distance the projector is from your screen, your wall, your bed sheet, whatever you're projecting it on. The keystone is gonna be the angle. So let's say you have it on table, but you're projecting up at an angle. You would turn the keystone so that it angles the projection to make it look like it is straight on the wall. So it does have a number of features. If you do mount it upside down, there is a feature in the settings to flip the image upside down and the right way. So you can flip the image backwards, forwards, upside down, whatever you wanna do, which is super handy. It does have speakers built in, but I would advise against using them because they're kind of crappy speakers. They're worse than laptop speakers. I was actually plugging this in to a pair of Edifier speakers that I got off Amazon and they sound, it sounded great. Very rich, full sound when I was watching movies because the sound would actually was actually passing through this and then into obviously the speakers. It sounded great. It sounded totally fine. My favorite was playing Mario Kart with friends while we're all on a Google Meet and then playing online and just having like a 150 inch Mario Kart game projected on my, my wall. It was fantastic. So do I recommend getting a projector for your house? Yes, I do. And for a couple of reasons. If you have a fairly large blank wall like I do in my house, this is a no brainer. Find yourself a simple stand that you can set this up on, project it onto the wall, especially if you have kids. This is great for family movie night and it's compact enough that you can like set it up and tear it down and it doesn't have to be a permanent thing in your house, which is great. It's also relatively inexpensive. We'll have the link down in the description below to Amazon where you can get your own. I love going to movie theaters so much and this was something that kind of gave me a little bit of that normalcy back during this pandemic. I, obviously, I know we're gonna get back to theaters for now while we're still kind of somewhat stuck in our houses and trying to find entertainment at home, this is the way to go. Also, if you wanted to use this outside in your backyard for a backyard movie night during the summer, once the sun goes down and it gets dark enough, especially if you don't live in like a hugely light polluted area, this is perfect. My backyard is so dark and I cannot wait to use this outside this summer. Set up a bed sheet, turn it on, watch a movie in your backyard next to a fire or something. That's gonna do it for me today. Like this video if you liked it. Again, please subscribe so you never miss any of our reviews. I'm Lincoln, this is Malone Post.